Well, here's an older grip shift design. I think it's from the 90s. You see the end of the cable there. We've got to shift it all the way past the one. Kind of pry it out. And you can see how the cable is wrapped around before it goes into its uh, insertion point. Here's another one of these little spring pieces that will fly right out if you drop this and it just fits in there like that. When you insert the shifter back in, it starts at the 7 mark for the full release point. But first you have to actually wrap this cable around, which is a kind of a tricky thing to have to do. So I get slipped out of place a little bit there. So the other end of the cable is going to go through right out. It's kind of looped around here. Well, I lost but here's a good view it's just going right in there it's fitting right into the channel yeah I had to rotate it back around the other way but there you can see pretty clearly uh, where the cable is at and where it's going so 0.7 lined up with the uh, marker like maybe that spring got knocked out of place a little bit. It's another problem. Okay. I just wiggled it around. Oh, the cable's actually going to have to be pushed back in a little more now. Okay, I got it back in. Everything is, is flat and the cable is moving with the shifter. Yeah, so that this is kind of a pain to work on, but they work very well once they're installed. And then before I install this back on the bike, I make sure this barrel is tightened all the way and then I back it off a full revolution. Now you can see this cable is nice and tight. This tool is called a cable puller. And so you can see the cable fits in to this channel here and it pinches down on it and pulls. You position this kind of against the body of the derailleur and you should be able to find these at a bike shop or online. So while you're holding this tight then you tighten this uh, nut. In this case sometimes it's a screw 